Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about HRB or H&R Block and where I think this stock might be headed over the long term and also the short term. So first I wanted to get my views on the long term picture here. We've kind of completed this five wave cycle zigzag trend higher here and we've actually kind of built out an ABC wave for the past few years. It's almost in a long term bull flag here. I think potentially we're near a bottom on a long term basis here. I think shorter term we could potentially undercut these lows then bottom out and there's psychological reasons to do that to stop people out of the trade. So longer term, I actually believe we're coming very close to a bottom here and you could potentially take a position soon. I think a great place to take a position would be against these lows here at this $10 level. If we see a break lower here on a short term basis, I think you could buy against this $10 area and you could put your stop below it. And potentially, I think longer term, we could see as high as the 161.8% extension of this bull flag here. And that 161.8% extension sits almost at about 55 a share. So you have an amazing risk reward trade here, even buying here and putting your stop versus that $10 level you're only risking about four points for pretty close to 40 points. So that's a pretty great risk reward. Longer term, I think this does take a while to play out. You might be waiting, you know, something like about 10 years for this to, you know, make its move to that $55 area, but you could potentially make about 500% here. So it's pretty good. Um, for 10 years, it's not something I would personally wait for because I can make a lot more just trading options or something like that on a short term basis. If you are a long term investor and you want to take a long term position in the stock, I'd say you can definitely take a long term position here and put your stop below this $10 level. And I think that could be a great trade. So on a short term basis, the reason I think we could go lower is we've actually been building out a bit of a, a bear flag here. And um, we also had back tested this pivot back here. So usually when you back test a pivot, you're going to reject and then actually slide below these lows and then the stock will bottom out and then reverse and break above this pivot. That's usually what's going to happen most times. And um, there's psychological reasons behind why that will happen. You have all this supply that comes in here at this previous pivot and then we, we head back towards these lows and then usually we break back below them. And that's to run all the long positions that are piled up on this move back to this pivot. They'll all get stopped out below those lows and that's when you'll get a bottom. So where I think this bottom could potentially be and even a longer term bottom here, I think. So I think the bottom could be around the 138.2 to 161.8% extension of its short term bear flag here. That sits at around 12 to 11.30. So if we do get a move down to these levels, I think that would give you an even better risk to reward trade as a long term investment or even a short term trade here. If you can fill out $11 a share, you're risking almost one point for 40 points that, you know, that's a great risk to reward. You have a one to 40 risk to reward in the trade here. I think also potentially you could take long term dated call options off that level. I'm going to kind of get into the options chain at the end of this video and discuss a potential options trade that I think has a great risk to reward. But on a short term basis, I do think we get a move to this. $12 to 1130 level. So if you can buy off this $12 level and then add at 1130, you'd have an average of about 117. So you'd only be risking $1.70 for potentially 40 points here. So I would definitely put this on a long term account. I think it's a great trade. I would wait for this $12 level at least first. I think there's a very high chance we see that level because it's in this bear flag. Now on a short term basis, I actually do believe this is shortable. You could short here at about $15. You're risking about one point for potentially three points to three and a half points. That's not really the best risk reward. I mean, um, it's decent. Um, I think this is a high probability trade. I think there's a very good chance we get a move down to that level. So you could short versus this level on a short term basis, cover at about 12 and then flip to a long position. I think that's a viable option. But longer term here, I do believe once we break these lows here and we head to this 1137 level, that will be your bottom. Once we back test this long term trend line of this bull flag, I think that will be your bottom. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of my views on this stock. Um, shorter term, I think you get a move to around that 11.30 to $12 area. Specifically, I think you get a move to the 11.30 area. I think there's a high chance we see that. And longer term, I think you're gonna get a move to about 55 a share if you're willing to wait. And you have a great risk to reward in that trade. So yeah, that's kind of my views on the stock. Now I did say I wanted to cover the options chain here before I ended the video, and that's what we're gonna do. So a trade I really like here would be these January 2022 $25 calls. I think these offer a great risk reward. They're tra if you can fill on these under 50 cents, I think this offers a fantastic risk reward trade. I think there's a great chance we see previous all time highs before 2022, where then we'd probably consolidate out and then make a push to about 55 a share. So if we do undercut these recent lows, uh, I would definitely look to take a position in these. If these $25 calls are going anywhere between 30 to 50 cents, I think you can take a position in between that price. So let's say we do push up to those previous highs at around 36. 
well then these would be worth about 11 in premium. It would probably be a little bit more because there'd probably be some time left on it, but I think these could potentially 20x. Um, so I think this offers a great risk reward. I would definitely take these on my options account. Usually I look for trades that only offer around a 1 to 10 risk reward. This is offering you a 1 to 20, so I think this is a fantastic risk reward trade. I'm definitely going to take some of these once, once we undercut those recent lows and we head to about 11.30. Um, I think this is a great trade and I think there's a high chance you see pretty close to 11 in premium. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to cover this trade as well because I think it offers a fantastic risk reward trade. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video and this helped you out in some sort of way, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. Thank you for watching.